Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from Bravura Media Company. Today we have a special treat for you guys. It is a vintage map of Memphis, Tennessee that was produced in 1870. It is a bird's eye perspective map in that we get to see the architecture of the buildings, we get to see the landscape, the change in elevation, we get to see the ships and the river, we get to see people walking around on the streets, horse and buggies, and uh, the different vegetation in the area. So let's take a quick look and look at the detail of this beautiful map. We zoom in, we can see downtown Memphis. Obviously the architecture is still different from building to building. We can see horse and buggies and people illustrated right here, as well as trees and the vegetation. We can also see that buildings are numbered 29. We will investigate these numbers and legend uh, in a little bit after we look a little bit more at this map, but we can see that architecture is quite different. We can sort of pinpoint possibly what buildings are. This is a church. That's got to be the steeple. And if we look, that looks like, it's not labeled, but that looks like a factory or a business of some sort. This up, oh, the farms are even illustrated right here. This is, looks like a farm or it's a cargo area. Not sure, could be either or. Uh, the streets are also labeled on this mat. Here's, uh, Market Street and uh, Promenade Street and railroad cars and railways are drawn and illustrated on this map. This rail depot looks like is right next to the Wolf River. See the boats. Even the people on the boats are illustrated on this on this map. I find that really quite beautiful. And we can look out and you can see the rolling landscapes in the back. Uh, rolling hills really. There are no mountains around the Memphis area. There's a couple rolling hills though and changes in elevation towards the outskirts and over here. So here's Tennessee Street and Clinton Street and some rolling hills along the riverbed. So let's see if we can investigate a couple buildings. Here's uh, 30, right here, this building. Let's take a look and see if, what we can find at 30. The, those are churches that are labeled. These are churches as well. Wow, that's a lot of churches. Uh, 30, where were we? Right around Clinton Street, kind of. Here we are. Right here. It's a church. There's a steeple. Right there. I like how they've organized this into... Uh, see, you've got a list of churches right here, numbered. you got cemeteries grouped. And then you've got uh, specific buildings, market houses, fire engines. That It's very organized on the legend. Oh, look at that. That's good detail. Rail, a railroad car. Look at that. It's very detailed. Look at that. Beautiful. Just in the corner of the map, the closest perspective to the viewer. So let's take a... Let's see if we can find some more. We know that in the late numbers, they're mostly churches... The letters, I believe, are specific, yeah, lettered, no, early numbered and ABC letters are government buildings or marketplaces. Let's take a look and see if we can find one. That's a church, obviously. It's one of the later numbers on the church grouping. Can we find a letter? It's really hard to find a letter. 
when you're looking for it. Twenty four, that's another later church group right there. You can see the steeple and the architecture and the building. Here's two. It's one of the earlier numbers. Two. Let's take a look at two. It's not a very tall building. It's that's a market house. Two. Right there. That's a market house. You can see the people coming and going with their horse and buggies from there. Nice. Let's see what else we can find. What is one? It's located right there. It's a big building cluster right there. It's a courthouse and post office. And it's practically in downtown, the downtown area, right in the middle. Here's two. Let's take a look at what two is. Looks like a railroad, rail car area would go through there. I'm guessing something with factory. Oh, it's another market house. Wow. Okay. That's another market house. Two. That was, yeah. Huh. So they, they labeled multiple market houses on this map. Here's some two again. Another market house. Interesting. Interesting. I just thought there was one. There's multiple ones on this map. See, you find something new every single time on these kind of maps. You just kind of discover. You're, it's like you're an archaeologist. And you're just discovering the stuff. So we at Brevera Media actually offer this pictorial bird's eye map on many different products. We have this printed on wall posters, on wrapped canvas, on postcards, on stamps, on dart boards, on flip flops, on watches. We have this on magnets, on stickers, on shower curtains. We have this on pillows. We have this on many, many different products. So if you like this map, or you know someone who would like this map as a gift or a present of some sort, check out the link below. We have over a hundred different products with this map printed upon it. So I'm sure you can find something that can appeal to a gift or something that you can decorate in a house. So click the link in the description and check out all the products we have. We have over a hundred. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe to us. We're going to have maps every single day. We update daily. We upload maps almost every single day. Check us out, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.